Hey guys, my name is Kai and today we are taking a look at another gaming laptop from Lenovo. This is the Legion Y740 and it is a 17 inch version of it. I've had this laptop for a couple of weeks so here are my thoughts. First thing, the design. This is something that a lot of manufacturers are going for nowadays, a clean, minimalistic and industrial design. And for a gaming laptop, I think the Legion Y740 looks pretty nice. It is also really well built, being made up almost entirely out of aluminum. The device has almost zero flex on it. The only part that isn't aluminum is the thick bar-like structure that runs across the back of the device that makes use of hard plastic. Now even though it's hard plastic, it still feels really durable and it does offset the clean image that it has making it making for a really unique look. Now let's talk about specs. The model that I have right here is running an Intel Core i7-9750H and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Max-Q, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, and a 1TB NVMe SSD along with a 1TB hard disk. So as you can tell from the specs, this is a pretty beastly machine and it will give you a hint of what you can expect from the performance. But back to the display. You get a 17.3 inch Full HD 1920x1080 IPS matte display that is capable of 144Hz and it's also G-Sync enabled. Viewing angles are good and colors are pretty accurate and it's capable of 100% sRGB coverage. So you'll be glad to know that you'll still be able to use this for light creative work outside of gaming. Up top, you get a webcam, although there's no support for Windows Hello. Next, we have the keyboard. And the first thing you'll notice is that it's capable of full RGB. Now you can cycle through different modes through just by using the function button and the spacebar. And it is further customizable by using the Lenovo Vantage software. Well, RGB is RGB, but let's talk about the keys themselves. The keys themselves feel nice and with good amount of travel and a very tactile feedback. If you are used to keyboards from Lenovo, you'll be pleased to know that the keyboard feels almost exactly the same across the entire range of products. You also of course get a full-size keyboard complete with a number pad and you still have room to spare because this is a 17.3 inch device. Overall, I think the typing experience is pretty great and most of you guys feel like it. Moving further down, we have the trackpad. Now you'll be glad to know that it runs Windows Precision Drivers and response is quick, accurate and swift. And the keys themselves are actually individual keys with separate left and right clicks and they do feel tactile and not mushy at all. The only thing that I feel that could be improved is the size of the trackpad, especially given this is a 17.3 inch device. The trackpad is a little small. If you made it a little bit bigger, maybe about 50% bigger, I think it would be much better. For I.O., you get a pretty healthy amount, although the layout may be a bit unique for some people out there. On the left, you get a single USB-C that supports Thunderbolt 3 along with a headphone mic combo jack while on the right, you get a single USB 3.1. And that is all for the sides because the rest of the I.O. is actually located around the back. From left to right, you get a mini display port, HDMI 2.0, a couple of USB 3.1 port with an RJ45 Ethernet in the middle along with a proprietary power jack. For those of you who are looking at this as a desktop replacement, you'll be glad to know that this layout is actually more beneficial and it will help you a lot with cable management. As for battery life, it is actually pretty good. You get 4.5 hours of usage on the better battery setting or about a solid hour if you're gaming off the grid. And since we're on the topic about gaming, this is the Legion series from Lenovo. It's all about gaming. And equipped with an RTX 2080 max scale, you can be sure that you can throw any games at it and you'll handle it just fine. In CSGO, it goes without saying that you'll get well over 250 frames per second at 1080p max settings. An RTX 2080 max kill might be a bit overkill for an eSports title like this, but since you have the 144Hz refresh rate, you actually get a really enjoyable gaming experience. Playing PUBG will net you about 120 frames per second at 1080p ultra, and likewise, you'll really enjoy this on the 144Hz display. We move on to more demanding games. Rise of the Tomb Raider on DX12 will get you over 100 frames per second at 1080p with everything maxed out including anti-aliasing. Final Fantasy XV is also really enjoyable, giving you a solid 62 frames per second with everything maxed out and all the NVIDIA options turned on, like Hairworks at 1080p. Ace Combat 7 is visually a really nice looking game and you will be able to comfortably play at 1080p max settings with roughly 160 frames per second. This is a little bit of an older title, but Witcher 3 will run smoothly at over 80 frames per second at 1080p max settings, including all the NVIDIA options turned up. Lastly, we have Battlefield 5, which gets you 92 frames per second at 1080p Ultra, or about 65 frames per second with DXR enabled. This was also tested on a full 64 player multiplayer map. However, I'll still say not to turn up DXR and enjoy the high frame rate instead. Battlefield 5 still looks amazing even without ray tracing. As for temperatures wise, it is a little bit mixed, 
but do note that I was testing this in an ambient room temperature of about 29 degrees Celsius. While running games, the CPU will hit a pretty hot 91 degrees Celsius, while the GPU fares much better at just 84 degrees Celsius. However, even though the CPU is hitting such high temperatures, do note that it was turbo boosting way above its base clock. And in games, you'll see roughly anywhere from 3.5 GHz all the way to 4 GHz. So that's gaming at a glance. But if you're looking at this laptop to be your creative workhorse, it will handle that pretty easily as well. In Cinebench R20, the Intel Core i7-9750H scored a multi-thread performance of 2491 and a single-thread performance of 426. Using DaVinci Resolve 16, rendering a 1080p project took 8 minutes and 35 seconds while rendering a 15 minute 4K project took 24 minutes and 40 seconds. If you open up the laptop, inside you will find the 76 watt hour battery, two slots for your RAM, space for a single M.2 NVMe SSD along with space for a single 2.5 inch drive on the opposite side. You will also have access to the Wi-Fi card should you want to swap it out. There is one thing that I want to mention on this laptop which I was pretty impressed by and they are the speakers. You actually get a 2.1 setup with two side firing speakers and a subwoofer round the back. With that subwoofer, there's actually more punch in the bass department and the mids and highs are also clear and pristine as well. Listening to music and playing games on Y740 was actually more enjoyable than I initially thought. And I think some of you out there will appreciate the speakers on this device. Although if you're still hardcore in gaming, I would still suggest a headphone. So we come to the last thing to talk about, and that's the price. As configured right here, the Legion Y740 costs just under 4,500 Singapore dollars, and that's honestly not cheap. But you'll be glad to know that you can customize this to your liking on Lenovo's website. My suggestion, and I believe to be one of the better price to performance ratio, is to get this laptop with the same Intel Core i7-9750H, but drop down to 16GB of RAM, an RTX 2070 Max-Q and a 512GB NVMe SSD. And with that configuration, you are still getting really great performance in the same package. And if you are even more of a light gamer, you can drop this down to an RTX 2060, which will save you even more. Although there's also a 15-inch version of this device, you are looking for a 15-inch laptop which tops out at an RTX 2060. So all in all, I do think this is a pretty great laptop and I enjoyed my experience with it. You get a great display, high refresh rate, support for G-Sync and awesome performance. If you're on the market looking for a desktop replacement or a 17.3 inch device, this Legion Y740 might be right up your alley. Alright, that's it. These are my thoughts on the Legion Y740 from Lenovo. If you have any questions, drop us a comment down below. Subscribe to us if you haven't. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Till the next one. See you.